Hi guys, this is another smart physics tutorial for electromagnetic waves. This was a tough one, but I got it done. So let's go over it. You can see the question in the description down there, the full question. Okay, so the first question is asking what is K, the wave number of this wave. Okay, so we need to find K. The K here is just, we have a rule for it, formula, which is 2 pi over lambda, okay? So mine was 2 pi 4, 3, 0 times 10 to the negative 9. Make sure you change this to nano, 2 meters, I mean, because it was a nano in the question. So... Number two, it's asking what is the z-max, the distance along the positive z-axis to the positive where the magnitude of the magnetic field is a maximum at t equals zero. Okay. So we want the magnetic field to be maximum at time equals zero. So if we look at this equation here, to make this maximum, uh, we need to make the sign maximum, which it can't be more than one. So sine k z minus omega t will have to be equal one. Okay. So since the time equals zero, they want at the time equals zero, then sine k z will equal one. And what is the angle here? It should be kz equal pi over 2. Okay, so we want to find the z, and the z here is z equal pi over 2 k. Okay. The k value is the one you find in the previous question. So number 3. The question is asking, what is the Emax, the amplitude of the electric field? So we want to find the Emax. Okay. So the Emax will be equal to the, um, not the E, this is the B, B max times C. Okay. But the B max here is not the b1 here I know you did it I did it too but it's wrong it's not this because if you look at it carefully here you'll see that the this b has two directions okay so if you if you kind of draw the if you look at it here the b has um, the value of it which is 7.8 going in the i direction which is the x we say that this is x and this is y. So it has a magnet that's going 7.8, and then in the y2 is going 7.8. So if we want to look at the, so this is by, and this is bx. So if we want to see the magnitude of it, so it's this guy here. Okay, which means that to find the b max. We just need to do the Fidelberg's thing. So it's equal to by squared plus bx squared. Take the square root of this. Okay. And since um, this guy and this guy is the same, because we can see that this is 7.8 and this is 7.8. Okay. So we can just do that 2, and then we're going to add them, so b1, so this squared, which is square root of 2, b1, okay. This will give us the Emax. Cool. No, this will give us the... Yeah, this will give us the B max, but in the question we're trying to find the E max. 
So the value, the value you'll get here, max. The value you'll get here is just substituted here. So E max will be equal to the B max that you'll find here times the C. C is the uh, speed of light, which is three times ten to the eight. Okay. All right. Cool. So number four. Number four, what is the EY, the Y component of the electric field at X equals zero, Y equals zero, Z equals Z max, at T equals zero. Very right, cool. So, so let's, so the E max, wh where would be the, um, the vector that you're presenting it here? How, how would it look like? So since, um, if you, if you, well, the wave is um, the electromagnetic wave. One is going like this, and one is going up and down. Okay, I don't know if you, if that makes sense. Okay, so one is going like this, and one is going like this. So if you can see, the angle between them is kind of ninety degrees. Okay, so. So the, we have two options here. Either the electric field will be heading this way, so this is 90, or it's going this way. Okay. But how would we know which one? Either this one or this one. Well, in the in the question in the question, yeah, they told us that the the electromagnetic wave is going in the z direction. Okay. Yeah, it's going in the z direction. So in order for this to go in the z direction, the E crossed with B should be in the z direction. Okay. So when you do the cross product, you'll go the your fingers with the first one, which is the E, and cross it with with B. And this is B here. Okay. So E cross with B. It will go up. This is the z direction. And if you do the cross product for this one, if, if you want to test it, so E cross with B, it's going in the z, z minus direction. Okay? So that's how we know that it's going here. All right? So this angle here is 45 degrees too, and this one is 45. Cool. Okay. So they want to find the electric field in the y direction. So they want to find E Y. Okay, so since we know the E max and we want to find the projection on the Y here, so this guy. So it's it's kind of like a triangle. Let me draw it here to make it clear. So it's 45 degrees here, and we have this guy, which is E max, and we need to find this Y, which is E Y. Okay. So how would you do that? We just do the, we're finding this. So the sine of 45 degrees, and we'll put it minus, because it's minus. And you can see that the y here is minus. So if you get a positive, you need to change it to a negative, because the y here is negative. This is the y negative, this is the y positive. Cool. All right, so sine 45 minus will be equal to e y over E max. Okay, so the EY will be equal to E max sine minus 45. And because it's sine minus 45, you'll get a negative. We just said Y. Okay. <coughs> cool. So number five is asking. Um, which of the following equation describe the all right how do i say that spatial uh, whatever and time dependence of the electric field oscillation okay cool so i'll give you just my answer i don't want to write all of these here but i'll just give you my answer i'll explain why so it's e max so I square root of two sine Kz minus um, 
omega t and then I took it as i minus j I'll just I'll explain why now okay so so here it's what is this this is the ei ey or ex and since it's 45 degrees it's going to be the same here okay this is like the ey like the one we did um it's like the in the first question here okay so and because it's like in phase yeah it's in phase then that means that the sign should be the same as the the one here L let me let me make sure of what i'm saying let me just think about it one second um yeah it's because because looking at the pre lecture again um they they are both in the same like both of them has the same um angle here which is the sign sign of the same thing here i think it's because in phase i'm not sure what is what's the right expression to tell you now but anyway um the i the i is positive here because you can see that the direction of it in the in the x is going to the positive so that's why i said it's positive i and then in the in the j direction which is the y direction it's going the negative so that's why i said it's the negative one here cool okay so number six is asking what is the t max they want the t max the first time after t equals zero when the magnitude of the electric field at the origin x equal y equals z equals zero has its maximum value okay so they want us to say that the let's draw this here so this is the starting point for the electric field this is the e max so they want to know the e max here will be oh well the the e at this time will be zero and they want to know here the e max like what is the time after after t equals zero we'll get an e max which is for this vector to get from here to here i'm representing it by vectors i'm not sure if that's right or wrong but it worked for me okay so we need the time to for this to go from here to here and you can see that it's kind of like if we say that from here to here it's t which is the period then the time they want to find which is the t max is equal to t over 4 right yeah okay so the t max is the t over 4 and what is the period the period here is the same as lambda over c then we don't want to forget the four you can remember that that period is lambda over c it's like the um, distance divided by the speed the speed of light this is the lambda so it's like it's kind of like a distance okay so yeah the lambda is the one we had in the at first here and then the c is the speed of light okay um, so the number seven compare ex and ex to the value of the x component of the electric field at t equals zero is evaluated at x equals zero y equals zero well you can read the question i don't want to read it's a long one so since the equation for the electric field is the one we just got here which is e max over square root of two then sine k is e minus omega t i minus j 
if you, if you look at it here, well, the change the the e x is at, is telling us that the um, the x equals zero and the y equals zero and the z equal max and the e e x one e x or e one e two e one and the x here is lambda and the y here is lambda and the z here is the max is the same as this one here. So if you look at it here, the x and y here. Oh shit. Can't see anything. Sorry. Okay, if you look at it here, you can see that the only variable that will change the value of e is, is z here. So if any wave or at a specific place or time, if the z is the same, then the electric field will be the same. The x and y won't matter in it. Okay, unless the Z changed. Okay, so my answer was for this is that EX1 is equal to EX2. Uh, I hope this helped and uh, good luck. I hope I didn't confuse you or anything. And if you see anything wrong in the question or w with what I'm saying, just shoot me a comment and I'll correct it right away. I'll put something here, okay? Um, good luck.